This is a Frank podcast. Kia ora everybody and welcome to another episode of Wellington Paranormal, the podcast. I am your host, Mike Minogue. Uh, there's no Karen O'Leary here today. Um, she hasn't been fired. She's just in Wellington. Um, and I'm just, this is a very, very quick note. This is a the live podcast that was recorded a few months ago. And there is a video element to this. So this is not even a proper introduction. This is just me telling you that you can watch this on YouTube, um, on our page, Wellington Paranormal, the podcast. There's a multi-camera setup. There's a, f- a bit of an element within the show of photos being shown, but there's certainly elements to it that would probably benefit uh, watching it rather than just listening to it. So that's an option for you. Now, don't listen to it as an audio element and then complain that you should have watched it as a video element. You could do both. Um, entirely up to you. Um, another thing I want to apologise for is uh, I've learned something new. Don't laugh on the mic at a live show. Um, I watch these episodes, well, in, this, in this case I watched this episode back, and I laugh a lot, and I laugh a lot with the microphone right down my throat. Um, you won't hear anybody else laugh, and that's because they knew enough to know that you should not have the microphone right by your gob when you're, especially when you've got a laugh like mine. Like, it's loud enough. So my apologies for that. Um, it's going to make grim listening and now that I've flagged it it's going to be even worse so I've made it worse you would have found out by yourself but now you're going to notice it right from the start so hey enjoy Kia uh, ora Sergeant Roy Marker uh, reporting obviously uh, look I'm going to keep this brief I am here as a favour to uh, Officers Minogue and O'Leary uh, to be honest, I uh, have a return flight to Wellington and a cookie time cookie waiting for me at Tamaki um, Makoto Airport, so I don't intend to miss either of those. Uh, right, um, so let's keep this focused and uh, we can all get out of here safely. Hey, oh, I, know, I know this guy. Oh, I'm watching you, watching you. Right, a uh, bit of housekeeping. So uh, this is not some kind of rave, all right? This is not some kind of discotheque. Uh, This is the first ever Wellington Paranormal uh, live podcast show. Show. That's right. Actually, let me me do this. That's better. Um, So, uh, you know, it's a bit of serious business. Uh, I expect you to take uh, some quite detailed notes. And uh, more importantly, uh, uh, let's keep these uh, zipped. I mean, all the way zipped. You know, less uh, kōrero, more whakarongo. Okay, a bit of a roll call. Uh, Jermaine Clement. Is Jermaine Clement here? He's not here. He's not here? Well, that's great. Please tell me we have Taika Waititi here. Taika Waititi. Well, this is going to be a long night. (laughs) David Seymour, are you here? If you are here, I'll see you in my office after the show. (laughs) Got a few things to say to you, young man. Well, uh, I guess uh, Officers Minogue and O'Leary, are you here? You better get your nonnels out here right now. I mean, stat. Minogue, O'Leary. Come here, Sarge. Get out here. Yeah, sorry, Sarge. Yeah. Sorry about that, Sarge. That's all good. What's, what, what, the, what the heck is going on with you two? Well, uh, we just were investigating the, uh, the mystery of the ghosts that actually haunt this building. Oh, was that you? What did you say about ghosts? What about, what about ghosts? Well, it's like, well, it's the ghosts of like, all of the um, audience members that have disappeared. <laughs> yeah, right. That is, a, that is a mystery. Yeah, it's a big mystery. <laughs> do we still have to do the show or can we go home? Well, they... <laughs> Well, they can't hear you, Manog. You've got a microphone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we still have to do the show? Can we go home? All right, go ahead. Well, um, we still have to do the show, obviously. I mean, there's, there's a live stream going on right now. <laughs> oh, 
what live stream? Yeah. No, I said what. Well, there's a live stream that's going yeah, on. Yeah, I, I know that, you, but I said what live what yeah, what, what live, live stream? stream? Well, there's a live stream happening. It's going yeah, what on. What live to stream? Ev- everybody in, in the world right now is happening on the internet. You're well, telling me everybody in the world is watching this right now. Well, <laughs> well, not not everybody. Oh. Yeah, but they can if they want to. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'd, I'd call that a victory in itself. Thank you, O'Leary. I, I thought so myself. Oh, I guess if people are watching it, we should probably still do the show. Yeah, probably. Are they actually watching it though? Like, how do we know if that this, it might be like that? The back I mean, here? we could no live. actually watching. Could throw live to a. No, hey, like. To a thing. Like, is there like a count on so we can see who's watching it? I mean, there should be. But who's, has anyone got any numbers on that, Tim? I think we get the numbers at the end. Are well, you going to join us, Sage? Well, uh, depends. Uh, are you guys going to do that part of the show where you just talk absolute rubbish for 10 minutes or? Yeah. That's the best part of the show. <laughs> you are now, nah, I'll, I'll pass. I, I usually just skip that part to get straight to the guest interview, to be honest. So, leave you to it. <clears throat> Fair enough. Thanks, Sarge. Cheers, Sarge. Kia ora, everyone. Woo! Kia ora. We're out of character now. You can tell because I'm smiling. <laughs> Thanks for coming out, everyone. Hey, and you. <laughs> You're welcome. Close. Yeah. What do you mean it's too, too close? What do you mean it's That's too better. close? No, it was too close. You too weirdo. Close to my eyes. <laughs> What's been going on? What? What's been going on with you? Do this best. It's very uncomfortable. Okay, I'll talk sit down to them and for a minute. Are there people here that um, actually listen to the podcast? <laughs> three or four. Three Liars. Or four. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's good. I'll take that. Um, what have you been doing today? Specifically today, I um, woke up very early in the morning, which is fantastic because I had a big night. I mean, this, I always feel weird just telling people what I've done in yeah. the day. Like uh, this is really boring for them. No, they love it. See, they didn't even say no. It's not. <laughs> nah. <laughs> They're all <laughs> no, like, no, no. No shit. No. They're waiting <laughs> to see. We paid money to hear about what Karen I know, did. On but the to be fair, they didn't pay very much. So I you think, can, they, I think they're getting value. The they're getting the show. value for the dollars that they've paid. All right, then listen to my amazing day. They want to know that you're like a normal person and they're finding out that you are because you're hungover. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I am. <laughs> so I, anyway, I had a big night with my good friend Joel in the lab and got home at about, I don't know. Whatever, sometime between 12 and 4, closer to 4. <laughs> and then my good friend Jody Rimmer said, Karen, my son's playing cricket, can you come and umpire? And this was a couple of days ago. I was like, Did yeah. she say that at 4 a.m.? No, no, she said that a couple of days ago oh, when I was like, ago. oh, yeah. I love cricket. I'd oh, Absolutely, I'd love to come and umpire. And she knew that I'd been out and she still came and knocked on the caravan door that I was sleeping in at 7.10. I was like, come on, it's time to go to cricket. I was like, yeah, so I went to um, went to whatever some park, which is in the blaring hot Auckland sunshine. Can I just ask you what your how your caravan was? Was that already very hot? It was boiling hot. Yeah. Yeah. So I was. In I used to live in a caravan, two yeah. caravans, and yes. in the winter they were freezing, and the summer boiling hot, with cockroaches. Anyway, you can talk about your cricket now. That's a really good addition to my story Thank of you. my boring day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was trying to take the heat off you. Well, it was, it was with my the, boring was story. The the, ca- the heat in the caravan was immense, and then I was out at cricket in the blaring hot sunshine, and I had to pl- umpire. And there was, you know, a ten year old. I don't think there were any people that identified as identified as female in the in the, either team. Shame. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and then there was lots of obviously parents who I presume identified as dads in the um in the crowd, <laughs> who were absolute fuckwits. <laughs> And they're just like shouting at their kids, you know, like, oh, you know, come on. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. look, you, these kids are 10. Also, they suck at cricket. Like, I'm watching. <laughs> like, they're not good. They're never going to play for anyone, anyone other than this stu- stupid team. And, you know, and even like the, 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 another, the other umpire guy from the other team was like, oh, you get I'm Will. Um, look, look, I'll just, you know, I can help you out. Like, I can do both ends if you want. I was like. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Did you like that? Oh, I loved it. He could do both like, right, ends, I'm though. Did you like that? You, Will. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, that's a nice touch. And I also Will. knew that he was the coach of the other team. So when I was umpiring the end of his team, 
ruthless. <laughs> a lot of wides, a lot of no balls. Yeah. How, how did you How did you like that when he said, "I can do both ends"? <laughs> I said, "Fun for you." <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Um, and absolutely stinking hot. The stinking hot, yep. Anyway, long story short, too late. Um, yeah, had a great time and told some children off. And because I was getting like by the third hour, I was like, <laughs> fuck this, what am I doing here? And then How many this, overs are they playing? It's only 20 20. Right. They're just so slow. And yeah. there's all these, these young kids, right, <laughs> who can't even bowl. And like, does anyone here love cricket? You're all at the theatre, probably. I not. do. <laughs> There's Probably one person it. over there. But like, so these young kids, like, you know, the, the, the whatever, they'd, they'd come up next to me. What? Do you need me to bat? Yeah, you bat. Okay. <laughs> so I'll be the bowler. Okay, I'm going to smash you. I'm just telling like, you know, now I'm going to smash you. And they'd come up very seriously and they'd be like, right, okay. I'll have to go around the corner because it was further than this. Like the longest <laughs> run up ever, these little kids were like running like... <laughs> Wide. What's the point of that? Wide. Yeah, it was terrible. Anyway, yeah. so I had a fun time. And yeah, like I said, there was one time in this this lovely child who actually was a good sport was batting. And he was shit, but <laughs> his t- his batting partner was even more shit. And he was trying to be very nice. He said, look, you know what? It doesn't matter. Just just have a good time. And, you know, it doesn't matter if we win or lose. And the rest of the, the other team, the other umpire's team, were like, yes, it does. And I turned around and I was like, who said that? <laughs> and like... I said, you shut it. <laughs> and then I realised that maybe I shouldn't have been umpiring a kid's cricket game. Yeah. Um, how much of this, uh, your attitude was attributed, do you think, to the hangover side of things? Absolutely none. None of it. Yeah, good on you. Um, I was in a hurr of a mood today as well. I know. Yeah. I got your texts. <laughs> yeah. You dragged me out of it eventually, thanks very much. But I got, I got out of my hurr of a mood, which is for no particular reason, went to the gym Went to, oh, somebody went, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> they said what I was thinking. Somebody went, ooh, <laughs> like I punched them. Um, and then after that, I had a sauna. Oh, now I'm definitely thinking, ugh. And uh, one of those ice cold plunge baths. Oh. I know. They, they're only really cold for about 30 seconds and then you don't what's feel po- it at what's all. What's the point, though? Well, they reckon it's good for you. I think it's probably not. I think it's like, Probably spirulina. You remember spirulina? Yeah. That was all the rage, particularly on film sets in the early two thousands. You had to have spirulina on the on the craft services table, or you have some kind of backwards joint. But that's gone now, isn't it? There's no spirulina. Correct. Yeah. So I think this is what's going to happen with this. But I was reading something. Actually, my wife <laughs> um, told me about this. That the effects of a plunge, ice cold plunge bath, is it makes you stupid. Yeah, makes you cold, but <laughs> 30 times the effect of cocaine. Damn. Oh. <laughs> oh. So that's gone from uh to oh. <laughs> that's good. That's a real change of opinion. So I thought I'd give it a go. Um, I have you know, I wouldn't know what the other thing was like, but it's not, it's not exactly euphoric. I didn't find it at all. Um, do you yeah. think it's worse for men to do ice baths? Pardon me? I said, do you think it's worse or harder or more difficult? Well, probably <laughs> everything's more – I mean, everything's more difficult for men, let's be honest. But to do ice baths because you've, you've – You can say it. You can say it. There was a sign on the door. Penis that and scrotum. You, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, it wasn't – it's actually not that bad. Weirdly, was that not the bit that hurt the most? No, it wasn't. It's, what was? It's, it's nothing. It's actually totally you fine. You loved it. Yeah, it was fine. It's like cocaine. It's the worst <laughs> – the worst – when you get into a cold ocean – that's bad, I think, because the, the water's moving around. I think, but in a in a still bath, you just you don't even feel it. So I recommend doing it, except it's not really. The effects aren't great. Somebody's keen. I heard someone was keen. <laughs> okay, well let's just have it. Who here would do an ice bath? Anyone? Yeah. Here oh, we go. What? There's a few oh, people. There's what? a lot of people. Apparently, those people obviously just like you for some true reason. <laughs> physiological <laughs> um, positive effects, I reckon. Although, yeah, I haven't really felt them yet, but. Cheered me up. <laughs> you, 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 Cheered me up, man. Oh, so, was, oh, so you were in the bad mood prior to the ice prior bath? Prior to the ice oh, bath. And after that, dividends. I was all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hey, Tim, we've got some photos, I think, to show. 
go These are some, this, albums. Is, this is some memory lane, although uh, what's come up first is something that's meant to come up last. So let's say, don't say sorry to me, Tim, just get it right. <laughs> Look at that. That's uh, Karen O'Leary there, and the half of my massive head on the right. What do you remember about that, O'Leary? Um, gosh, I was joyous, wasn't I? Look at you, you're very pleased. <laughs> I don't know where that emotion came from. Um, no, I think that was potentially our first ever, just before we did, did our first ever scene. Yeah, that's right. Don't that's right, and we had, we had a younger? disagreement about that. Because about we our thought first ever scene. About our first ever scene, because we thought our first ever scene was in the car when we pulled up yeah, and we right, had the wrong hats. We had the wrong hats. Uh, but actually it was this one. I was just re-watching the scene today and it was good because Karen had to do all the talking. Uh, which is you know, how I mean, she that's likes why it's it. lucky that I was a trained actor who'd done a lot of acting work in the past. And yeah, it paid so dividends. Yeah, you just had to babble on and you are pretty good at it. And I just had to I just had to stand there. Which looking like looking like an idiot, which is <laughs> which is easy for me as well. Um, what's your have you got any other memories about this photo? Um, I don't. We've just got to fill some time. What's that? Until Sorry? we go home. We've just got to fill some time. Oh, so shall I make home. up a memory? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I remember was the smell of the grass yep. that day. It was um, vibrant. It reminded me of the Basin Reserve. Um, <laughs> the sun was shining. Well, it was who's in, who's it was got in, their hand down my top? I don't. Re- I should remember that. That would be but Sam I, Spicer, would it? No. no. And that looks like a, a, a person that oh. only took his female hands. Yeah. Sammy Morley, I reckon. You she reckon? always had her hands down my uh, top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be right. She didn't actually. I'm, that's, that's not true. <laughs> if Sammy's watching the live stream. She's on the stream. live stream. <laughs> yeah. um, and it was filmed in White Man's Valley. Yep. Racist. Yeah, it's pretty racist. <laughs> Just so you know, this is White Man's Valley. <laughs> um, what's our next photo, Tim? That looks the same <laughs> one. Look at Karen's expectant face. Hey! <laughs> Have you guys seen that photo before? I don't think that photo got released. I know it? why. I mean, and actually, the funny thing about this is originally... Is this me? No, no. Originally, <laughs> um, the way this was staged, this photo, was that we didn't have, we went back to back, we were face to face. But I was so aroused. <laughs> <laughs> by the blonde hair on O'Leary that we had to go back to back. <laughs> Um, when was that? <laughs> when was that photo? T- have you guys actually seen that photo? No, no. No, no one's seen that. No, photo. it didn't come out. Did it? Why? Yeah. Yeah. That was for the uh, the ghost house, wasn't it? It that was. We, there was. We were supposed to appear as those seventies cops. That's right. And did we actually do any scenes? We did all the scenes, and obviously we weren't very good at it. Is that right? Because they never. Yeah. We I can't remember yeah, that. Yes, remember we had, we talked about the hats looking like um. Yeah. Boobs with nipples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. And there was that. also there was also another, um, and this was one of the first episodes we shot. That also, ha- which this thing also happened in the teaser that we shot to try and get the funding for the whole show. But they staged a photo when Minogue, and I'm separating myself from him, was hitting on a party goer. Do you remember that photo? Yeah, yeah. And that was very early on, and so that was one of the things we worked out that maybe Minogue shouldn't be doing that. And as even when we were filming it, it felt horrible. Do you remember that? Yeah, but I don't think you, <laughs> it didn't look like you thought it felt horrible. That's because I'm such a good actor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but a good look. I think they could have gone, uh, done a bit more with that. I'd like to see the scenes if we did shoot them. We can probably find those. Yeah. I'd also like to never have my hair like that. Ever. Why is that? I mean, <laughs> I looked, well, no disrespect to my sister. But I look like my si- it's again. But you've got that same but smile she's on your face. She's being troublesome at the moment. <laughs> so actually, she's on the live stream. Clear. <laughs> um, Doubt it. <laughs> and I'm working on that moustache at the moment. I know. I, for how, how long? I, do you hang on a minute? How do you feel Don't about you the moustache? About your moustache? Yeah. I love it. Thank you. Can I, I get um, my wife's here tonight? She hates it. Where is she? <laughs> Where's Zara? Um, how many? Zara, b- put your hand up. It? Don't be all. Oh, oh there, you there are. she is. Where's Frankie going to sleep? <laughs> hey, there she is. Um, can I get a round of applause for people who like the moustache? Can I get a. Uh, no, 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 we'll just leave it there. We'll leave it there. 
Jolly good. Nick, can I get a round of Thanks, applause Tim? from of the people in the audience that sometimes lie about things? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, That's my wife. People. That's my wife cheering. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Now, if you look, <laughs> if that's when we did our Women's Day shoot, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, O'Leary and Minogue's miracle, a miracle baby. Yeah, which was after <laughs> that last photo. <laughs> yeah, was when this. <laughs> Um, we and if you look back to back for long, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and if you look closely, there's a baby in there. <laughs> Can you see that baby? Um, and that baby is now a, a kid, aren't you? You're over there. I don't know if you want to come up, but she's much, much bigger now. Um, yeah, and that was over in do, 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 Eastbourne. 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 Yeah, Eastbourne. Now. I think we're you just were having a party. No, not a party. Oh, it's come and look at the baby party, which is not. Oh, yes, there's no right. kind of party. Sorry, but welcome to the baby party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not look really at a baby. Party. Look at the baby party. Yeah, yeah stink party. Right. Yeah, <laughs> no one was having much fun. No, 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 no we were. of course we were, Zara. I'm just joking. You loved it. Sorry, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what else? Oh, you were just finished filming, I think. Would that be the fourth season? The fourth. No. Did we do? What are you talking about? Wasn't it? How many seasons were we done? How old's Frankie? Oh, old enough. <laughs> She's four and a half. Would that be right? I'm sure no, that was the last time because then we moved up to Auckland. Oh, we did one more after that. Yeah, because they yeah. had to come down to the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Those are good times. I it was the second season. What's that? I reckon it was the end of the second season. Oh, do you? Yeah. All right. We'll talk about that on another podcast. You guys are going to have to tune into that. Not going to argue, sure about, they're, they're like, argue about that here with you. I'm never going to listen to that podcast you. ever. Um. Now we're going to get our old mate Marker to come back out. Is Marker here? What? Here he is. There you go, mate. Kia ora, kia ora. Kia ora, kia ora. <sighs> How's it going? Yeah, good. Thanks for having me. Oh, you sound all different now. You're not Sarge. No, no. I'm You've not got even your different of you. voice on. Are you just sitting high <laughs> register about here like this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's been going on with you? Um, so, uh, I've been working on a, a device theatre show for the uh, Wellington Arts Festival and I'm going down to Wellington tomorrow. What's it called? It's called Our Own Little Mess and uh, it goes on from Thursday the 20... <laughs> yeah, <was> the <laughs> closing eyes on the 25th. <laughs> 22nd, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's yeah. involved, I don't know what that is, a devised... Uh, so he's made up. Yeah, we got guests. It's Sorry. a lot of uh, <laughs> workshops, um, uh, you know, making around like kind of provocations um, to do with you know character work or interesting things you want to. So yeah, so there's a lot of making making things up. So yeah, yeah, it's a lot of improv. A lot of acting. And then writing it down and then make putting it together as uh, scenes to make a whole show. Yeah, so we still haven't got an ending, or um, like we're still trying to tie things together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. 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 fine. Yeah, so it's boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say no, boring? Good. No, no. <laughs> it'll be good. Um, Karen's got a show coming up as well, don't you? <laughs> it's going to be really yes, good. I do. Look, I'm, I'm competing with your show, I think. So if I was going to choose. What? You said you're competing well, with Marco. Do Marka. you have a show? No. Nah. Totally so, so you're, you're winning. You're not even in the I reckon I'm winning. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a show called Saxo Fun in the Fringe Festival, which is me and nice. my delightful partner, Eilish. She's going to play. Yeah, she's hot. Thanks, Anna. <laughs> that must be you. Where are you, Anna? Is that your date, the cricket guy? <laughs> Hello, cricket guy. Did you get any sixes today? Anna said you get heaps. She just <laughs> said you're really good at scoring. <laughs> <laughs> Get on you, mate. Same. What number? Uh, what number date is this? Yeah. Oh, do you guys well, need a microphone? Uh, First date. Oh, well done. First date. Oh shit, sorry. I sorry, cricket guy. I thought it was like you guys have been for ages. This is, is it, fine. It's actually probably the highlight of your night. That's the, that's the best review we've ever Just had. Have some <laughs> more wines, you'll be all this good. This is fine. <laughs> Okay, can you tell us about um, how you came up with your idea? Well, I got pushed into doing a show and by Vanessa Stacy, who's the head of the Fringe, and she's like, just do a show with the artist. I was like, yeah, okay. Well, I didn't really mean that. I was like, <laughs> And then I just thought, imagine if it was called Saxo Fun. That's a really good name for a show. Excuse me. 
I'm trying to talk about my show. It was you really good. Bum in my face. Yeah. Sack so far. And I thought, that's a good name for a show. But that's kind of as far as my ideas went. Yeah. And then I had to write a quick blurb, which I wrote, because I like writing things down. So I wrote, you know, can a saxophone be funny and can a funny person be sexy? Come and find out as Eilish Wilson and Karen O'Leary play and talk their way through 45 minutes of your life that you'll never get back. That does sound good. good bl- I know. Device yeah, I know, yeah. But now I've got to make 45 minutes of someone's life that they're never going to get back. Because the idea of it is good, but then the problem is that the date comes around and you have to do it. Yeah, but I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm quietly confident now. I've got, got something up my sleeve. Oh, yeah. I've got an all star choir. You're in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Am uh, I? Yeah. Oh. When is it? Next weekend. Oh, I'm busy. <laughs> I, I'd ask if I could be in it, but I'm in another you show. Are in <laughs> You're in another. <laughs> What time's your show on? Like eight till late. Whatever time your show's on. Yeah, no, he's like, he's like, yeah. wait, <laughs> it's <laughs> whatever time your show's done. No. <laughs> anyway, if anyone's in Wellington, go to his show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How much are uh, tickets for those sorts of things? Uh, it's on the it's on the <laughs> it's on the Arts Festival <laughs> website. I'm, I'm just the performer. Do you I don't know any of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come here with that prepared. I'm sorry. <laughs> www. Uh, international Arts Festival. I don't Are know. you in the international one? Yeah, the I'm one just in the Bangs one. That's, no, that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> okay, no, that's oh, yeah. Bangs no, I mean, he's talking down to you. Yeah, mean. What do you mean? Say? <laughs> oh, yeah, good, no, good on <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, good on you. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what else is going? You got heaps on this year. Yeah, um, uh, a few other ter- TV series just recently that I uh, auditioned for just kind of fell in line. I don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about them. You can talk about one that's coming no, out on tell Monday. Anyone. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> I worked on a show last year called Miles from Nowhere that comes out on Neon t- Tuesday or either Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, man, I'm terrible. Eh? I don't. Yeah, come yeah, in yeah. Many. I should have given no, you the heads up. Look on Neon, neon you know. I didn't, yeah, you didn't know we we're going to go into these deep waters, nah. man. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's something we're going to talk about and that is something that people might be wondering why Marco hasn't bothered even bothered dressing up in his uniform you might be thinking what a rude guy <laughs> um, but there's a reason for that and that's because your uniform doesn't fit you anymore yeah uh, I, um, I I tried on the, the pants and they like come out to here now and, yeah uh, <laughs> I tried on my, my, my shirt. Uh, it kind of looks like a Momo now. So. <laughs> yeah, I think the jacket and the hat's the only thing that kind of... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. head's the same size. That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That'll never, yeah. That'll <laughs> never <laughs> shrink. <laughs> large ass. Um, do you want to talk people through that journey? That's been pretty amazing to see from the, you know, from yeah. as a mate. Um, so at the end of uh, season four, um, I... I think I was sitting at my heaviest and uh, was quite unwell. Uh, so I, I used um, some of the residuals that I earned on, on the show to uh, go for bariatric surgery. I think I've uh, lost about somewhere around 30, 40 kgs. Uh, I'm still about... Yeah, boy. Thank you. Yeah. And just sort of uh, keeping it uh, on track with uh, kind of mostly... Uh, low carb diet and a lot of jujitsu. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah because you were—that was what was um, interesting. Like you've always done so much. Like the jujitsu was full on. Yeah, um, it was something that uh, before we even started to shoot season one, like um, Jermaine was like, "Oh, you, you do jujitsu? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna put that in as a <laughs> as a Sarge trait." And they were like, "What what rank do you think he is?" I was like, "Oh, just, just keep it honest. He's just, just wipe out." <laughs> Hopefully, if, if we go again, you know, you, you might have gone up a bit rank by then, but you know. Have you gone up yet? No, I haven't. No, no, no. <laughs> I've got a stripe. That's a, you know, between each belt rank, there's like a series of um, stripes you get up to four before right. you can go to your next, then you have to do You've like got an one exam. stripe. I've got one stripe. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. Um, after years of training, um, it's a term in jiu-jitsu, it's called um, sandbagging. It's kind of like you've sat at your same grade for quite a while, the, the term implies that sand, sandbags kind of make things seem a bit heavier and a bit buttier than they are. Yeah. Right. Uh, um, I mean, or, or you know, it's not a fair kind of representation of where you're at. And so, yeah, yeah, right. I had one of my mates go, oh, you've been sandbagging that white belt for a few years, haven't you, bro? I was like, yeah, I'm basically a sand dune now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just show up and, you know, maybe one day I might, you know, yeah. uh, do the thing. But, yeah, 
And yeah. your brother Polder started doing it, eh? My my, my brother my brother started doing it. He's he's outranked me. He's blue belt now. So <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone's just gonna surpass me, and I'll, I'll just be this uh, really skilled white belt. You know? <laughs> I'm happy with that. Um, what's the change been like uh, with the weight off? Because I've had a I've got a mate that I grew up with. I've known for over thirty years, and he had a, he had the same thing done. Yeah, and obviously life changing. But he's the thing that he said to me was. Where he's really noticed a difference is going to bed at night. He's not worried uh-huh, about yeah. waking up. True, yeah. That was his thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, if anything, because I train at night, uh, I get like really wired and kind of uh, have kind of bad sleeping patterns, but it's not like, you know, the, the <laughs> yeah, yeah. sleep at me <laughs> and stuff like that. So <laughs> that's good. Uh, yeah. Heaps more energy and. Yeah. Um, Smaller clothes and yeah, cool stuff, right? Wow. Yeah, man. <laughs> Shop straight off the rack at Alan Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And yeah. Um, yeah, other other cool cool benefits. It was good to have a reward that was going to Helen Stein's, eh? Yeah. <laughs> what, what a treat! I didn't know how good my life was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it, man. I cracked it. Yeah. Um, have, what questions have you got for Mark uh, O'Leary? What's your star sign? Oh, I'm a Capricorn. Are you? Yeah, I knew it. Yeah. How did you know that? No, nah, people always Wait, say. That. That people always say I is. knew it, but yeah. they never. No, know. it's in January. Oh, okay. Isn't it? That's Aquarius, yep. isn't it? Ooh. January ten. Same as someone else, isn't it? Same as uh, that oh. guy that didn't even turn up on the roll call. Same oh, as, yeah. Same as Jermaine. Yeah. Or maybe he's the ninth. No, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, some we'll get back to that on a future podcast as well. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Tune in next week. Um, I'm also uh, just recently celebrated my four year anniversary with my partner. Hey. Um, I was going to ask you about anymore. She's actually watching. She's actually one of the people, the one person watching the oh, live. Oh, she on the live stream. Anymore. Hi, darling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you were actually supposed to be here. I was going to say person. she didn't even come. She, yeah, she's supposed to come, but she's yeah, feeling yeah, she didn't want to. Yeah. She didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> she might later. <laughs> she wanted to stay home. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well, lovely to see you. We should bring out Corey, eh? Yeah, man. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, right. Eh? You ready, Corey? We, yeah. Here he comes. Yay! Yay! <laughs> hey. oh. Here you go, man. Thank you. What's going on? Not much. It's just back there listening. Yeah. <laughs> Did you watch it on the screen? Uh, you can't see it too well. I mean, you know what's happening, but it's, you know, it could be anything. It's hard to tell. Yeah. If someone's out there complaining, it's probably my daughter. Is that right? Yeah. That's her. No, Frankie. Hey, Frankie. 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 Hey. Come up and see us. Yeah, come and sit on the couch. Um, what's going on with you, man? Uh, to be you honest, too much. Um, went on your podcast the other day, so that's you probably, did? yeah. Uh, no idea when that's coming out. Been watching The Chase a lot. It's <laughs> pretty who's much your, it. Who's pretty your favourite one of the baddies? About the what, sorry? Who's your favourite one of the baddies? You know the chasers. Oh, the chasers. Uh, probably the Cinnamon, just because he's he's come to New Zealand a few times and yeah. we've done a few shows together. Um, yeah, he's pretty cool. Come on, come on, dude. No, oh, that was close. I'll go get her. Yeah. Well, it's meant to be my interview. So. <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to come over here? <laughs> just no, keep talking, Corey. We, honestly, everyone's listening. No one's watching that cute job. Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> I can't compete with it. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. She's going to sit down. <laughs> um, and you got a tour? Uh, yes, I'm going down south in about two weeks on a South Island tour. So uh, Invercargill, Dunedin, Gore. Um, <laughs> Gore. Gore. Purple uh, work shirt. Wanaka and Queenstown. Um, yeah, I've got a wedding there in, in Wanaka, so we're just going to monetize our trip. And um. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to cover the costs, which is probably not going to do it, but yeah. yeah. Who are you doing it with? Uh, David Correos. Uh, he's the central comedian, the Burger King guy. Um, and Paul Douglas, who's another comedian. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wanted to talk to you because when we got you on the podcast, the one thing that we forgot to do um, was talk to you about your uh, what we do in the Shadows experience going to Sundance. Oh, yeah. Which must have been amazing. Yeah. 
it was um just wasn't real life. So we went to Sundance in ten years ago. Like the movie premiered ten years ago, um, in January. So um we we're on Sundance and uh, do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. She can do whatever she wants. <laughs> um yeah, just went to so the whole the whole uh cast went. Um we just uh, yeah, we were invited to all the like, parties, I was like do- doing media every day, press conferences, um, getting invited to different events, um, getting so much free stuff. Um, yeah, it's, it was the best two weeks of my life and nothing will ever be that good again, I don't think. <laughs> what about like, obviously, what about we've, gore? Done, we've done Armageddon together yeah, in yeah, Auckland. Yeah. Like, was that kind of the same? Uh, yeah, I think maybe less people with asthma but um, <laughs> and psoriasis, but uh, yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> But it was good, yeah, just meeting random people. Like, I was telling Minogue the other day that... Uh, Minogue. Met, um, <laughs> met, uh, the, the, I don't know if anyone saw the movie Precious. It's like a, just one of the most awkward moments of my life. Um, we were at some kind of press thing, and um, the, the main lady from, from Precious um, sat on my jacket, and I didn't have the heart to tell her to get up, so I just left the jacket. <laughs> You love that jacket too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> She's got it. Yeah. And and who else did you uh, meet on that on uh, that trip? Because we met. <laughs> so we saw a lot of people. We met a lot of people. Like uh, Jake Gyllenhaal came to our our rap party. Um, Selena Gomez. Um, Nick well, Cave. Hey. Well, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, he was there. Um, well, Ed, was he? What was he wearing? Black. Yeah, surprisingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. huge. He's like seven foot. Or he's something. a big man. Yeah. Very intense. I didn't yeah. talk to him, but he looks like he'd be like very intense. Yeah. We yeah. went and saw him uh, I saw him do a live show and he played music and had a yarn. Yeah. And he was a really laconic dude. Yeah. He was just telling stories and yarns and with an Australian accent, which I... Even though I knew he was Australian, I didn't think he would have that. I thought he did talk like a vampire. That's weird as someone that like writes <laughs> yeah. songs that yeah, he was no. good with words. Well, that he was not super intense. He was funny. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, so yeah. How good would funny. he be on the show? Oh, I think he'd be great. Well, to paranormal. I think he'd be really good. He'd be so deadpan. Good, yeah, he'd be very, very intense deadpan. Again. Yeah, 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 intense again. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, what other oh. questions have you got? Um, oh, here we Frankie, go. Frankie, do you love watching Wellington Paranormal? Yes. Who's your favourite? Who's your favourite out of me and your dad? So yes, <laughs> it's me, eh? It is me. You push the microphone to who's your favourite? Yeah. It's that easy to get a clap, is it? <laughs> it's Sarge, eh, Frankie. Yeah, we know. Um, boy, here you go. Yeah, look at a picture of yourself there. Um, all right, we might ask some uh, questions of the audience. If the audience have got any questions, we're not going to ask you Are questions. Are we going to ask them to ask us <laughs> questions? You can ask <laughs> us questions. We should ask them questions. Or both, actually. Actually, just real quickly, did you guys oh. see Te Wairangi? Oh, yeah, Te Wairangi is there. Why don't you actually, come up, Te Wairangi? Yeah, we should get to be, no, you have to make them sit on the floor. <laughs> no. No, <laughs> you can no get seats. S- no, Te Wairangi is one of our, talk our about first cheers. ADs. Yeah, we could do that, but it would be rude for him to come up. And Te Wairangi was… We can all fit on the couch. Okay. Or I'll go and sit next to him. Okay, yeah, good. Go on. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Tawarangi is here and he was our third AD, I think, from season two. Is that season three? How do I get down there? I remember it well. Jump. Jump? Jump. All your fans will catch there? you. You just have that enough. <laughs> okay. Very good. Just weird. <laughs> <laughs> <Get> it, <bro. laughs> Oh, that matters to her. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> G'day. Are you going to ask him some questions or are you just going to let him have the mic? Yeah. yeah. No, I, just, I thought we'd just give him the turn to talk. Oh, yeah, good. I was getting bored of you. Yeah. Um, hey, fair enough. I thought maybe you could tell us a couple of stories. Obviously, you work with us closely because um, basically you had to look after us, which I always found a little bit hilarious. Um, Obviously, I could ask you who's the easiest to look after, but I already know the answer to that. But you do have it. There was. I, is there anything that you think of when you think of either me or Mike that just you just think that was always their thing? Oh. Um, very pointed question. It's very pointed question. Well, I I had worked in the locations department on the first two seasons and sort of saw you guys on the peripheral, 
And Karen wouldn't talk to you, eh? Yeah, she was really rude. <laughs> I'd park a car in the morning and say, see you later, here's the keys. <laughs> and then by the time the third season came around and I was a bit more involved with you guys, one thing that stuck out to me was um, you both like kind of pulled me aside on the first day and like, okay, we got to f- we got to actually nail your name. We got to know your name and like how to pronounce it correctly. And um, we spent a little bit going over that. And because people at that time, I was still quite fresh and would call me anything. <laughs> My name's Tewai Arangi, but yeah, you get called like T or Big Guy or whatever, and which is awesome. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I just it meant actually quite a lot that you guys were like, okay, oh, Tewai te Arangi, te and then you just got it, and just from then. You know, it's, it's, I don't know. It meant a lot. It was just a small thing. It's not funny. Oh, no, <laughs> no I, I remember that, actually. That was my idea. Yeah. <laughs> and Karen was really against it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that was. Um, and that's why it took to the third season yeah. <laughs> before she finally agreed to it. But I do remember it, and I remember Karen saying to you, do you prefer, it? she said, what is your name? And you said, Tawarangi. And she said, well, do you prefer Tawairangi or do you prefer, because people call you T or something, and you're like, oh, well, I prefer, prefer Tawairangi. So, okay, well, that's what we should call you. <laughs> that's your name. Yeah. yeah, and then you just adored us ever since then. Pretty much. But a lot of my... I was like, get my chair. <laughs> yeah. A lot Where's of my, my job was bottle? making sure they my had coffee. a place to rest between takes <laughs> and they had coffees and waters and... Mike has a soda stream water bottle that I'm sure he still uses to this day that he would forget or lose and I would have to go find and Mark, you had a really big water bottle, I remember. Yeah, it was mean. It was mean, bro. (laughs) Karen, I don't remember your water bottle. She doesn't drink water. Yeah, true. Um, But yeah, it was just a lot of fun and I I, I was really young on the first season and then I kind of got to, you know, grow up and it's really nice seeing you guys up here and talking because it's, I don't know. Working on movies and films is weird because you work with people really closely for a, you know six, seven weeks, and then you all just disappear. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's a story. It's great to see you, bro. We still hang out now. We're not. I really do, appreciate like our early morning pie <laughs> yeah. runs to the gas station when we were working on. Why? Why oh, not? Well, yeah, about that, man. Should we stop and get a pie? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Knowing that there's like full like crew breakfast at catering. <laughs> yeah, we'll get a pie first of the year. Yeah. That's the first time I'm hearing that. What's that? Weren't you keto as well? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, casual, casual keto. Oh, that, so, that sounds a bit like um, when you were, you were vegan, eh? You love those cheese scones, though. Oh, uh, cheese scones. Yeah, I have a cheese scone. <laughs> yeah. I'm not too hard on myself. That's right. And now I have chicken and steak. <laughs> and fish. But that's where that's at now. <laughs> you want to go see Mama? Yeah, good idea. Mama, welcome back to the stage, everybody. Mama. <laughs> Amazing stuff, Zara. Do you want to talk about Mike? You could tell us heaps of funny stories about him, surely. <laughs> Good riddance. That looks like it's a no. <laughs> you're not shy. I know you're not shy. Just one thing. Embarrassing. You, come on. <laughs> Does he fart in bed? Bloody beauty. All right. Anyone else got any, <laughs> any questions? Any questions from the audience for anyone up here? Otherwise, we're going to start asking you questions. Any? Oh, there we go. Here you go. Here you go. If you could pick anyone in the world oh. to be in the next season, like special guest, who would it be? Helen Clark. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> <This one. laughs> uh, Jennifer Coolidge would be a goodie. Um, what do you reckon, Corey? You? Yeah, I can make a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> I could, could use the gig, to be honest. Uh, Maka, who you got? All, all I can think of was like Winston Peters. Yeah. <laughs> because. Oh, he could be your dad. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because when Jermaine would direct me as Sarge and I was trying to find Sarge's character, Jermaine would be like, yeah, uh, but more like Winston Peters. And so I, I don't know. I was kind of. I couldn't do the voice, but <laughs> I think that would be funny. Winston Peters. Yeah. And I really wanted to grow a mustache for Sarge too because I was inspired by Willie Appiata. So maybe Willie Appiata. <laughs> I was like, can I have a, a mustache, Jermaine? No. He's clean shaven. I was like, okay. 
That's all. Willie up here to That's uh, good. What's the beaters? Very good. Anything else there, Karen? You got any other ideas? About what? <laughs> About who I want to be on the show? Yeah. Are we, are we moving on to the next question now? Oh, have we got another well, no question? No one's got a question, so it's kind of like, oh, yeah, there's one question. Yes. Yes. You You've start? just won the prize for being the only person brave enough to ask a question. Yeah. Or well, the only person that's still paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any chance there would ever be a movie of Wellington Paranormal? Great question. No. Yeah, it's called What We Do in the Shadows. <laughs> <laughs> um, it has been talked about, hasn't there, it? Yeah, there was, there was a yarn about that. Um, it feels like it was a little time after COVID or something like that. I can't remember exactly when it was, but they were looking at doing a film of it. Um, and it was sort of like getting the team back together. So we'd be off, um, like O'Leary would be doing traffic. You'd be doing something and I'd be the head of police. Right. <laughs> you, but anyway, they get it all back together and then, yeah. Like so the there Expendables. Was, there was. The, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. One last ride. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah. I got excited when the, the Shadows, the American Shadows came out. Yeah. And, and uh, I thought uh, one time I was on a car ride to set with Jermaine and I was like, Hey, um, I was like, are you trying to set up some kind of linked, like, paranormal crossover universe? Because I think that would be amazing, it's, you know, it's like some Matt Berry kind of, <laughs> you know, that kind of crossover. I don't know. We we end up in America for some reason. Yeah. But, yeah. We talked to him about that on the podcast and he was like, yeah, I just couldn't make it make sense in my head. Like, yeah, why would why would you be there? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Why? Why would you yeah. be wearing a New Zealand police officer's uniform? Yeah. We can't make you wear normal clothes. That yeah, yeah. would be too yeah, yeah. weird. Mm-hmm. So, like nah. a cop conference or something. Yeah, like cop yeah. conference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, consultation, paranormal yeah. consultation. I don't know. We've solved it. We're you off. teleported. You, you meet someone who can teleport you. Ah, oh, that would have been good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's heaps of it. He wasn't even trying. Yeah. Or just, <laughs> and like you're allowed to go on holiday. What? what yeah, not just that's that? right. That's how we holiday in uniform. Uh, anyone else got a question? Here's a question. Here we go. This is good. Since you've been policemen, uh, you police office, officers. 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 She'll get you for that, man. She'll get you for that. <laughs> I was the wrong person to say that to. Uh, you're lucky she hasn't got the taser, yeah, man. You'd be down. Have you? Ha- <laughs> has the urge to arrest people stronger with you since you've been playing these roles? And what's your attitude to law since? <laughs> What's the second question. part of that question? And what's the attitude to law oh. since we've become false police officers? Well, the funny thing is, for me, I was actually going to become a real police officer. So when I was too at tall, high school, she was too tall. <laughs> they, no, they removed the height restrictions. That was below the belt. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> anyway, I was going to join the police. I was like, okay, right, I'll go down to Otago, do PE, and then join the police force. Classic lesbian move, right? <laughs> I was like, this makes perfect sense to me. But then, obviously, well. No, Couldn't get over the fence. It's a clean slate now. And obviously, though, when I was a young person at university, I had quite, I had lots of fun. And sometimes I did, I made mistakes. <laughs> and sometimes the police didn't like my mistakes. <laughs> so as soon as you've been arrested once or more than once, you can't join the police anymore. So it's perfect for me that I now get to pretend to be one and don't have to deal with any of the actual crime. <laughs> Yeah. So Good answer. Um, yeah. But I obviously respect the police very much. No, actually I don't. That's a load of shit. <laughs> well, I I respect good police officers, yeah. but there are so many people that are in police that should not be in police. And then they're, they're the issue. That's where the issue lies. But we did do some work with the real police for the COVID when we had, were in lockdown. And we did. Yeah. And that was, that was good. There was actually a point, I don't know if you remember this, where we were meant to go out to the police college in Porirua. And we were meant to go out there with a graduating class. Do you remember that? Yeah, true, yeah. No. They were trying to get us to go out there. To, I don't know what we were meant to be doing. <laughs> 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 um, be grateful you're not these guys. I don't know what it was. But in the end, yeah, that didn't happen, perhaps wisely. Have you got a police connection? Um, well, yeah, a police I record? A, I got a mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. Um, I had a mate that he... he oh, mate. Uh, he thought it was real funny to introduce me to his, his other mate that was an off-duty cop. And he'd be like, oh, Mark is in the force. <laughs> and then he'd just step back and the guy was like, oh, cool, well, what, what division are you in? And I was like, paranormal, man. 
what about you? And he's like, oh, I'm search and rescue. Um, so we repel out of helicopters and look for people in remote areas. I was like, wow, man, that's, that's way more. Like, yeah, I, I, play, a, I play a television cop. There's, um, there's quite a few um, police officers at my jiu-jitsu club. And, that, and they'd be like, oh, yeah, you're the, yeah, I was taking a photo. Like, man, you're, yeah, I'm a, you're a real police officer. I'm a, yeah, and one of the guys is like, when we roll, he goes, hey, take it easy on me, officer. Then oh, I'm not resisting arrest, I'm resisting arrest. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, the police college you were talking about, um, my partner, um, Hinemore, went down to do... Uh, some kind of workshop with them, and now she has a wing in the police college with the Dr. Animal Outer Wing. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. So, in, in lieu of us going there, she went there instead and <laughs> nailed it. They were like, no, nah, we don't want those guys. We'll get the, we'll get the psychiatrist to come down and yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've got um, quite a few family that are uh, police officers, but yeah, no real urge to get involved myself. Yeah, I'm all good. Any other questions? Do, 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 do. Ah, there goes one. Here I come. Yes. I like that as the one female, I'm the one running around with the microphone. <laughs> it's a oh, sexist. Do you think it should be Mine's a man's job? I think it should be anyone Do you think it's an up to a woman? <laughs> you can't take photos now, can you? <laughs> <laughs> who, who's their hand up? Oh, on that you, note as well, sorry. we're going to go, when we go out, no, right. we'll come, we'll meet people... <laughs> <laughs> so if they made a, a US version of uh, Wellington Paranormal, like or Minnesota Paranormal, who would play um, each one of your uh, characters? Brad Pitt. <laughs> I was going to say, do I need to know someone from Minnesota for this answer? I only know and Joel Rindelab, and he could play you actually. Are you good? Um, I would, but if I had to choose like an American person, I'd probably choose Jane Lynch. Yeah, yeah. how good's that? Yeah, that's a goodie. What? She's <laughs> shut up. We've got the same track suits. <laughs> 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 you no, know, different size. Size <laughs> <laughs> will probably large. be uh, like Forrest Whitaker or something. There. Hey, yeah. I reckon. Yeah, yeah, that's a goodie. Corey, probably Cliff Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> Who's good for the accent, so. <laughs> uh, all right, any other questions for Karen? If somebody here is far away. Oh, there we go. Somebody's <laughs> <laughs> far away. I was just wondering how authentic your uniforms were. Oh, that's a good question. Great question. We can ask that quite a bit. Have a guess. Well, it's a hard thing to guess, isn't it? Not. Well, that's not much of an answer. Like, so much of a guess. <laughs> not authentic. Well, no, of course they're not. But how not authentic how, are they? Yeah. Okay, so you've gone from not to quite authentic. Yeah. Okay. So if, if, you, if it was a percentage. A lot percent, like if the, the real police uniform was 100%, right, in a test, how much would we score? Is that a what? By Dragon, do you mean Tanifa? Yes. Because if you do, then yes. If, if by T-Rex, you mean a Tanifa? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but if you mean by that, you mean a Tanifa's <laughs> legs, then yes, it is. So what do you want to call that more? An ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you didn't need to give us a number, percentage number, please. Incorrect. Yeah, what is it? 70. Yeah, it's it has to be 30%. It's going to be 30% different. Percent different. Yeah. I don't know who sits in the office at the police station saying... Yeah. Mm, no, it's only 28% different. You can't use yeah. that. So that, that is a law. It has to be 30% different for anything that's used in film and television. But when we first went out and nobody knew who we were, and that didn't really change too much. Well, we became but, really famous. But when we pulled up, we pulled over in cars that had written on the police car, this is not a police car. And then we'd pull over and talk to people and they would be shitting bricks. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. And they were not like, hang on a minute, that's 30% different. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. No, I remember when we were doing the um, Courtney Place scene and Jermaine was like, and, you know, he's a little bit cheeky, so he's like, just just stop and talk to those those people or whatever and just see what they say and see what they do. And it was the, the zombie episode. So we stopped and there was these two young people with their shopping bags and Mike was driving and I would, 
put, put the window down and said, excuse me? And they're like, yes. I said, what have you got in your bags there? <laughs> and like, oh, it's just, uh, just stuff for our dinner. I was like, oh, yeah. What are you having for dinner? <laughs> and like, oh, just like, it's just like tofu and um, vegetables and stuff. And I was like, is there any brains in there? And at that point, they just looked at me like, and then we just went, did the window up and went away. And I probably, <laughs> they might have been traumatised, but hopefully this is all the show, because then they'll just be like, actually, yeah. Or maybe they complained to the police, I don't know. <laughs> Any questions? Oh, here's a question. Oh, maybe this I is my job, this question. I can get over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, can you just shout it out? Yeah, good on you. I'll come back up there then. Sorry. So, sorry, sorry, interrupting now while you're shouting. I'm on the microphone. It's going to make it very hard for you to be heard. So if you just wait till I get like, no, you go now. <laughs> just fire away. Oh, I love this question. Uh, <laughs> it's getting closer to the question we always get asked. I'm surprised it hasn't been asked yet. Um, I don't. Hey. That's the short answer. Although we did have an experience that we spoke about on the podcast. Which was <laughs> when we were filming the Ghost House episode, yep. correct? Yes. Yes, and um, out in Kandala, and it was this old house that in the in the show it hadn't been lived in for 40 years, but it actually hadn't been lived in for, for 40, quite a 40 yeah. years, so it was yep. actually a true story. Anyway, um, that's not the funny bit. That's the fact that it was a true story. That's just a fact. Um, yeah, but the, we went. They we had a comato come to bless the house because obviously it was kind of like derelict. And Do you remember this? Do you remember this? Was this for the um, party ghost? Yeah, yeah, party yeah, ghost. That, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and this this woman came and she, you know, she didn't know anything about what we were doing or what the thing, whatever was happening, and she did her, her blessing and then she just said to Paul Yates, I think it was, oh, there's someone in that house. And we're like, what? Oh, but she's really happy with what you're doing. You know, honestly, she's fine, but yeah, she's definitely in there. And we're like, oh, that's weird. And we found out. <laughs> you got to like you're laughing about the scariness. It's not actually funny. But was it? No. Anyway, she. <laughs> but she. We found out later that the woman that had died in that house used to be an avid theatre person from Wellington, and so she was obviously really happy that we were making a TV show. But then the other funny thing was that the electrician, before we started filming, had gone over to make sure the electrics were all safe, and he knocked on the door, and then no one let him in. He was talking to Paul Yates, and the guy was like, "Oh." Yeah, well, I knocked and knocked and knocked, and there was like the light was on, and there's, I saw a woman go up the stairs, but she wouldn't let me in. That's is, that's yeah, that's what the electrician said to Paul. There was a light on, even though there was no electricity on at that time, and a woman walked up the stairs. So you believe what you want to believe, but I, was I like, don't believe bullshit. that. Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the red light's been on for about a long time now, what so we're going to have mean? to wrap it up. Um, so that's it. That's it for this episode of Wellington Paranormal, the podcast, the live show show. What's your Instagram handle? That's the only thing we promote, really, isn't it? Instagram what? handles. Why do we What's do yours, that? Corey? Just my name. <laughs> Corey Gonzalez Go- McClure. Yeah. Google it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, we're going to say goodbye now. And while we go, there's going to be um, some bloopers play on here. Is there? Oh, yeah. yeah good on you, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, we're going to leave. But we're going to. This will go for about five minutes, but we'll meet you out in the foyer if anybody wants to get any photos with us. 50 bucks. <laughs> 50 bucks. Oh, is that all? So we'll see you out bucks. there for that. Get your cash ready. Give you time to go get some cash. Yeah. All right. We do after okay. pay as well. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. I'm off. There, Stan. Thank you. Thank you.